How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, <clears throat> in today's video, it's going to be a booze unboxing video. So, the other day I received this, and it was from a company called Beer52, and it's a £24 beer voucher. Um, so, this was for £24 worth of free beer, which I have got right here. Because I always check these things out to see how legit they are. Sometimes they're not very good. And sometimes in this case, they turn out all right. So all you have to do is pay for postage, which was £5, <clears throat> and uh, sign up to a subscription, which normally would be £24 a month, but you can cancel it immediately, which I'm, I'm probably going to do. Let's face it, I don't have £24 a month. But when I ordered this, I then got offered this by the same company, but Wine52, for three bottles of free wine. So I set them both up. So all in all, I got eight bottles of beer, and three bottles of wine for £10, which I think is pretty good. So the beer is fr from Scotland. So this is all Scottish beers and lagers uh, for this month. And the wine is Hungarian, so obviously from Hungary. Um, I might set this to every two months, to be fair, I don't know. I've not really thought about it yet, because you can set the subscription to that. But we're just going to jump straight into it, and we're going to get the, um, the beer open first. Right, Let's see what we've got. Oh, okay, so it comes with some snacks too, but we'll just start from left to right. So here we've got Windswept Brewing Company. Why well, isn't it 5.2%? This is just a bit, oh. A cloudy um, Hefweiser bursting with bananas and caramel. Oh, damn. That sounds really good. So this is 5.2%, and it's just a standard beer. Or, yeah, beer. Nothing, uh, no, not an A, not an IPA, anything like that. But bananas and caramel sounds pretty, yeah, my kind of thing. Damn, do you know what? I think I might keep this subscription going. <laughs> um, a gun toting nano penguin peach pale ale. I love all my flavoured things. If you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that. Uh, this is a 5.2% volume pale ale, so it's another good percentage. And like I say, it's peach flavoured. Um, Pale ale with wheat, natural peach flavouring, mellow, fruity, smooth and bittersweet. So that sounds hella nice. So then it puts some snacks in that go really well with the beers it's giving you pretty much. Uh, we've got Harvey Snaps. Oh, sour cream and chive. That is one of my favourite flavours in terms of snacks. These are crunchy lentil rings. Only 93 calories a bag, so these are quite decent for you if you're dieting as well. Uh, vegan, gluten free. So yeah, all in all good. Um... I'll be doing a review. Uh, I'll put these snacks with the review as well um, later on. Uh, we're not going to be doing the review on the booze today. What's this one then? So now we've got a single hot IPA, 12 cents. Um, this is Rocking the Road Project. A twist on our 10 cents IPA. We bumped up the proportion of characteristic uh, Centennial hops to 12 gram per litre. Only Whirlpool and Dry Hop, Punchy, Floral and Citrus. So again, that should be a really good one. Oh, in fact, it actually says it on here. Vim, it's, yeah, citrusy. So um, again, that should be a really good one. As as you know, I love me flavoured things, flavoured drinks. Oh, we've got another snack here. Roasted corn kernels made with love smoked. That's perfect. So again, we'll give them a review on one of the videos as well um, later on when we actually get to try and all of the beers out. Right, here we go. Another, what's this one? This is another IPA, the Dream World West Coast Session IPA uh, by the Farm Brewery, 2001. West Coast Session IPA with ripe citrus, fresh pine, and gentle floral flavors on top of a smooth, multi body before a clean finish with refreshing, balanced bitterness. So that sounds nice to me. So, so far, these are looking fantastic. I'm really excited about this one so far because I do believe this is our halfway point now. Banana and caramel. <laughs> that, that sounds pretty special, I'm not gonna lie. Right. El Perro Negro. Um, this is a beer. Uh, a crisp and refreshing gluten free pilsner. Sorry, it's a pilsner. Uh, with a zesty twist of Seville orange. Seville orange. Um, to deliver a fruity citrus. Bye. That sounds fantastic. 4.5% volume. Wow, I like the can too. I'm a sucker for like a, a colourful can. 
I am the type of person that will, will buy something just because it's bright and vibrant. But yeah, this is another one that's said uh, this is going to be an orange citrus. So yeah, that's another one that I'm definitely really looking forward to giving a go to. Madison at West Coast, another IPA. Um, there's nothing on here. Oh wow, oh, wow. there is. This is a 7.3% um, alcohol on this one, ABV. Uh, born in Belgium, brewed in Scotland, strong malt backbone, aromas of citrus and pine leading to a long um, bitter finish. I'm liking that all these are very citrusy based. That I do like, because I feel like the more citrusy beers, ales, things like that, uh, they're just a bit more refreshing, a bit more easy to enjoy. They're not as uh, sharp, they're not as uh, sour sometimes in a way. So this is the second to last of the beers. The Funky Drummer. Uh, six hop, sip, six hop, diaper, D-I-P-A, uh, 7.5%. That's a, that's another strong one. There's this super pale, pale and hazy big D-I-P-A uh, packs in obscene amounts of the best US hops, uh, Citra, Azaka, Cascade, Columbus, Simcoe and Mosaic. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds fantastic. And the last one. The Spider Monkey Organic Unfiltered IPA. Um, I'm just trying to see where... I'll, oh, so this is a 5.2%. Uh, oh, so the flavour of this one is juicy and tropical, which is just fantastic. The aroma is pawpaw, which... I'm not sure what that is, if you can make it out, it's not going to focus, so you probably can't. And pineapple, which is good. So this is, um, that's it's not giving many, it doesn't give much of a description on this one, so we'll just have to save that one for the actual review. They look amazing, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so this should be £24, you get your two snacks, your eight beers. Now these eight beers that I have never tried before, so I cannot wait to get the, record, uh, the review recorded. Because I think they're going to be fantastic. Now... Of course, that's not the end. Now we've got the Wine 52 order, which is just three bottles. Now this should be £32, obviously. Uh, I got it for just the delivery cost, which I can't, you can't go wrong. So again, you're going to get some snacks in here. Um, I don't know if you have to pay for delivery as well as the, as the monthly subscription charge. So it might be, instead of 32 it might actually be 37 But like I say... I got this one for free. I will be cancelling the subscription to the wine because we're not the biggest wine drinkers in, in this house. But, you know, it's just something that's fun and interesting to try. Um, right. So we'll start with the snacks because they're on top and it's quite awkward to get the wine out without getting the snacks out. Um, so we've got salt and vinegar, wild cassava chips. So I'm guessing these are a Hungarian snack as it's going with the uh, theme of the Hungarian wine. Um, I can't tell you <laughs> anything about it because I cannot read that writing without my glasses on. But yeah, so the salt and vinegar, and basically they're, they're a crisp. And, they're, and I'm sure they're going to be just lovely. Uh, also, we're going to review them um, when we review the wine. And then we've got here, uh, Indulge Seasonal Spice Flavor Corno Combo. Um, this is a mix of different things. It's like a little, well, just a little mix you'd put out in a bowl, really. Um, I really should have worn my glasses for this video. Um, I was satisfying with savoury mix of nibble sized corn snacks are perfect for any occasion, which I'm sure they absolutely are. Moving on to the wine, so you can choose, I should mention, you can choose uh, pale and dark beer, you can choose non alcoholic or vegan friendly if that's what you want, um, or you can just go on mixed. Um, I obviously didn't go for non alcoholic um, variety, I just went on mixed alcoholic. Yeah, I'm not bothered if it's vegan friendly or what because obviously I don't have any dietary requirements. Uh, but I think it's really good they do um, provide a service to everybody, like whether you're gluten free, whether you're vegan, whatever the case is, there's something for everybody here. Um, so obviously on the beers and that, I just went mixed and I'm really happy with what I got out of that. Again, with the wine, you can choose red only, white only, uh, rose only, or mixed. I went with mixed. I'm kind of hoping maybe I get one of each. It'd be pretty decent. If not, it's not the end of the world. So in no particular order, we're just going to pull them out. 
but this is definitely a red. It's very strange, actually. So these are obviously Hungarian. And this has got a completely blank label, except from just down the side here, it says a word I definitely can't pronounce. It's a 13% alcohol, which is perfect. So that's what you want in wine, uh, which means it's probably going to be very strong. One of Hungary's most treasured grapes and a key component of the renowned Bull's Blood Blend. Um, okay, so this is this is the brand of it up here. It is Kek Frankos Sexard 2019. I apologise to anyone that's Hungarian out there whose language I have just completely butchered. <laughs> so like I say, yeah, this is a 30% volume, 750 milliliter bottle, which is your standard wine size bottle. Uh, there's no details really on it other than... Um, oh, there is, sorry, I am completely lying to you. It's aged in oak. The astringent notes of this wine are enhanced with the fruity and acidic characteristics. Um, more discreet, the vibrant aroma and pleasure of the taste buds make it an excellent companion to Hungarian cuisine. Nebi? Nebai? Sorry. <laughs> so that should be a nice wine, actually. I am looking forward to that wine. I do enjoy a glass of wine here and there, I'm not going to lie. Oh, what's this one? So this is a white. White can be funny. It can be really bitter. It can be really um, vinegary. So, But there is some out there that are really good. I know I've had the barefoot white is absolutely lovely. This is called um, Ursae Oliver. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Saint Pateri, I can't, I'm sorry, I, I'm butchering it. We'll, we'll go over the word names on the actual review. So this one was made in 2021. Uh, it's 12% volume, so we're getting a really good one. Uh, this is a dry white, so that is going to be very strong. It's not going to be fruity, but it could be nice. We'll find out later on. Um, as well as there is, there's no description on it. There's nothing on the flavour, so that's going to be a complete surprise. And the last one is a, another... This could be a white. This is another white. Um, this is called Kajla. Kajla. Uh, it's a 12.5%. So I'm guessing this is going to be dry as well. Ooh, pigs can fly, apparently. Um, pale straw colour with a lemon yellow glitter. Very fresh, super clean and intensive nose. Mainly of green apples. Ooh, this one could be really good, though. Uh, surrounded by cider flower and blackthorn blossom. Lime and lemon core in the mouth with pronounced green. Oh, that sounds fantastic. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Pronounced green apples. I'm looking forward to that one. That one's gonna be really, really good. Definitely. So, yeah, I'm happy with this. This is a very good £10 spent. Obviously, um, oh, I've got a book. Oh yeah, they come with a magazine. The beer one should have one too. Yeah, I forgot they come with a book as well. So, um, the book one is called For Men and it's a, a Scotland book, a Scottish book. Um, Join the fling with some of the most exciting brews on this side of the wall. So that, ooh, 20% off, free shipping. Boom, UK Manscaped. Oh, I thought it was gonna be booze. So in here you get some like deals on certain things and it tells you a little bit about different brewery techniques and ooh, that's about the windswept that we've just bought as well. So that'll be a good read. I'm going to have a flick through this to be honest. I might even take it to work with me tonight. Um, so it tells you all about the beers that we've just bought plus other things that they do. So this would be really interesting to look at. Like here they've got a Scottish brewery. So we could even look at ordering from there one day because um, they look really fun. They look very fun. Um, so yeah, that's what's in the beer one. And then we've got the wine one, of course, which I might not be as fond of. This is obviously Hungarian um, Glug, this this magazine is called, uh, which is fantastic. Again, though, it's got loads of details in. Um, it's got some offers on things and it's going to be more about the vineyards and um yeah how the grapes are harvested and things like that again probably a decent read if you are interested in wine then it would be perfect so i'm gonna have a look through it as well because i might surprise myself and very much enjoy it so like i was saying um the wine one i am actually really impressed with especially this bottle here i think that's gonna be really good um it is 32 pound a month it is expensive but i do have to say i think you get good quality from the looks of things obviously we're gonna do a review soon to see just how worth it is 
I'm probably going to get rid of the wine subscription. However, the beer one, I am impressed with. I might just put it to every two months, to be honest. Um, £24 every two months, I don't think is is too bad because it does give you that option. Um, you can always cancel it at a later date. There is no uh, minimum term contract, anything like that. You can cancel at any time. Um, so this is all my opinion. Um, and I've not been sponsored or anything on this video, so this is just everything I have to say about it. I do think it's a good idea. It, it's really fun. I think if, if you are someone who enjoys trying new things, uh, which I am, um, this is perfect. And yeah, maybe one day when I'm in a bit more of a flush position, <laughs> um, we'll go back to the wine one as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and I'll hopefully see you in the reviews. Other than that, bye-bye.